What? Thank you, thank you. I don't know what I would have done if I had lost him. It's just so great to have him back. We're just gonna go right home, right now, and celebrate. Aren't we my lovely little droid? Don't worry, I'm gonna hug you and oil you and care for you and make sure you never, ever get away again. Ready. Yes?
Have you found the Mandalorian Raiders yet? Thank you, young master. My daughter can now, I think, rest in peace. Here is the reward I promised you. No, please take it. This pitiful amount will never be enough for what you have done for me. Again, I thank you. I will be sure to tell the Council of your great deed. I must give you my thanks. Because of you, I am once again welcome within the Jedi Order. I have spoken to the Council, and they have helped me see the truth. The truth about myself, and the truth of my actions. Quatra's injuries were not so severe as I first believed. I was foolish to believe I could harm a master such as she with my, my clumsy efforts. The fierce confrontation between us was nothing more than part of my training. Quatra wanted me to understand the threat of the dark side, to see how easy it was to fall from the path of light. Quatra's methods may seem strange, but I trust her wisdom. This lesson has been difficult, but I am better because of it. Humility is never easy to teach. But now, I truly understand my own limitations. You can't expect to get everything handed to you on a silver platter. After our last battle, Quatra had nothing left to teach me. I needed time alone to explore the turmoil of my own spirit. Only then was I ready to follow a guide. You, back to the light. When I left, Quatra knew her work with me was done. There are other disciples who need training throughout the galaxy. And she could not stay to see if I passed this most difficult trial. With your help, I have passed this difficult trial. The Council now feels I am ready to continue with my training, though they have asked me to wait here for the time being. First the Jedi trick you into becoming an enemy, then they welcome you back as a friend. I can't say I approve of their training methods. Giving you a second chance like this is a clear sign of weakness. Sometimes I find it hard to believe the Jedi could defeat my people in battle. I do not know what the Council has in store for me, but I will trust in the Force and the way of the Jedi to help me through whatever is to come. Celebrate, aren't we, my lovely little droid? Don't worry, I'm gonna hug you. Please kill me. I don't think I ever felt so bad for a droid before. Ha! <laughs> I guess that droid is really going to serve his master tonight. Why are you?
You have done well, my pupil. The ancient grove has been purified, and Juhani's journey down the dark path has been halted. Because of you, she walks once more in the light. But though she was saved, do not dismiss what happened to her. Juhani is both dedicated and true to the ideals of the Order, yet she was still vulnerable to the dark side, as are we all. She struck her master in anger during her training and injured her greatly. But it was Quatra's choice to test Juhani this way, and it seems to have made its point. Juhani has been redeemed, and you have passed your final test. Congratulations, apprentice. Or should I say, congratulations, Padawan. You have proven yourself worthy of joining the Jedi. Let me be the first to welcome you as a full-fledged member of our Order. I must congratulate you on your actions. You have saved Johanny and brought her back into the Order, and have given us all great hope for your future success. May the Force be with you as you continue your training. It is good to see Johanny has returned to the Way of the Light. You are to be commended for your role in this. Your actions give us great hope for the future. Your training is now complete, Padawan. And perhaps now, it is time we dealt with the matter of the dream you and Bastila shared. When we heard of the ruins in your dreams, Master Dorak recognized it as one of a series of ancient structures here on Dantooine. This one in particular lies to the east of this enclave. We sent a Jedi to investigate, but he has not returned. Perhaps sending him in the first place was a mistake. The Force is guiding you through your visions. It may be that exploring the ruins is a task tied to your destiny. That is why the Council has now decided you should be the one to investigate this. The secrets to stopping Malak may be hidden within those ruins. You must investigate them and find what Revan and Malak were looking for. Be sure to bring Bastila with you. There is a powerful link between you and you will need to draw strength from each other during the trials ahead. I demand justice! The Central Family is a blight upon Dantooine! They must be punished! The Council will look into this matter, Mr. Matale. You must be patient. Your accusations have no proof. And we do not want you stirring up trouble with the Sandrals, if there is some mistake. Mistake? My son Shen is missing! How can there be any doubt the Sandrals are to blame? There are other possible explanations for your son's disappearance. Ah, you Jedi are good for nothing but talk! I shall only wait so long before I take action on my own! As dangerous as the threat from Darth Malak and the Sith may be, we Jedi cannot simply abandon our other responsibilities. The Council has promised, Alan Matali, we will look into a son's disappearance. Should you have time, Padawan, you may want to investigate this matter. If Shen Matali has not returned to his father, it may ignite a savage and bloody feud between the Matali and Sandral estates. It is not allowed that to happen. Your study and training are important, of course. But the Jedi are not a cloistered order. Our influence and teachings must spread beyond the walls of our academies. It is in the real world that we truly prove ourselves worthy of the title Jedi. You would do well to remember this young Padawan. The task has its own importance. It may also serve to divert our minds for a short time. Something which carries its own rewards. Yes?
What? I'm here. Sure. My protocol droid tells me you are here on behalf of the Council. I was beginning to think my demands had been ignored, though I think your time would be better spent interrogating the Sandrils as to the whereabouts of my son Shen. Many years ago, I brought my family here to Dantooine to escape the crush of humanity on the Core World. Soon after we settled here, the Sandrils arrived, and they have been a plague upon my house ever since. The injustices the Sandrils have committed against the Matales are far too numerous to name. But the Council is well aware of our many disputes. Recently I discovered several Sandril droids trespassing on my land. I have no idea what nefarious purpose lay behind their arrival. My own assassination, perhaps? Destruction of my property? Maybe a simple spy mission? I wasn't about to find out. My own security droids destroyed the invaders. Not a single one survived. At least you're efficient. It was shortly after this incident that Shen, my only son and heir to the Metali estate, vanished. Obviously, Nurik, the unscrupulous head of the Sandral clan, has abducted my son in retaliation for the destruction of his droids. The only resolution possible is the immediate return of my son. Why does the Council insist on stalling? The life of my son is at stake. Is it possible... Yes, of course. Now I understand. I am a man of the world, Jedi. I know how things are done. I will make a contribution of a thousand credits to the Council in exchange for rescuing Shen from the Sandrils. 
I will present the credits directly to you. Nevertheless, my offer still... Eventually, I will take whatever action is necessary to rescue my son, including raising the entire Sandral estate. Until you find Shen, Jedi, we have nothing further to discuss. I suggest you hurry south to their estate, lest I take matters into my own hands. You are here because of Shen Makale's disappearance. You are wasting your time. 
Near a death order, he was not to be dispelled. But give us... I have been informed by my protocol droid that you wish to speak to me. Cassus is dead. I was afraid of this. Yet in my heart I knew it must be true. What, what happened to my son? Cath hounds? I, I was so certain the Metali family was to blame. But this changes nothing. My own son is dead. Why should I shed one tear about the disappearance of my bitter enemy's son? Typical. Anything to continue the feud which has become so customary to you people. I must ask you something, though it is difficult for me. My son had a diary, his private personal thoughts. Now that he is gone, I have nothing else to remember him by. Please, the diary means more to me than it ever could to you. I will give you a hundred credits for its return. Mighty generous of you. A little too generous, if you ask me. I thank you for this. The diary is all I have left of my son. We have nothing further to discuss. Please, leave me to my grief. You are here from the Council, are you not? Looking for Shen Metale? My name is Rahasia. Nurik is my father. He has not been himself since Cassus disappeared. He is mad with grief, and he is convinced the Metales are responsible. He is not thinking rationally. My father is a good man. When my mother died, he raised me and my brother by himself. He loves his children, and we love him. I just don't want you to judge him too harshly. You must understand that Father has been under a terrible strain. I have no wish to disobey him, but there are matters where even my father's authority is not absolute. My father has kidnapped Shen Matale. He is holding him prisoner here in the compound. He feels this is a way to get back at the Matales, a way to get even for the disappearance of my brother Cassus. I see. Well, there is the answer we seek. The Jedi Council should be informed of this at once. No! Since Cassus went missing, my father has become unstable. He might hurt him if you do that. He no longer even cares if the Metales are responsible for what happened to Cassus. I am afraid my father will simply kill Shen out of a mad, misguided lust for vengeance. Shen is an innocent victim in all this. My father is not a bad man, but his grief has driven him to madness. He must be stopped. Please, find Shen and rescue him before my father does something he will regret forever. I would take you to the prison, but I cannot let my father see me with you. Take this key. It will open an unguarded door at the rear of the estate. You and Shen can make your escape through there. There are many security droids guarding the halls. Please hurry. You are Shen's only hope. Alan Matale and my father have had problems ever since they settled on this world. To hear my father tell it, Alan is a brute and a bully, but a rich one. He feels his credits give him the right to step all over normal people. My father stands up to Alan because no one else will. But now he thinks Alan has taken my brother Cassus and has imprisoned Shen as revenge. Please find Shen and free him. You are my only hope.
What? What? Who are you? 
Rescue me. It's not my own. If I escape. If you can convince Raheja to escape with us, I will accompany you. Though I do not know if she'd be willing to turn her back on her home and family. Who could imagine a Sandra doing such a thing for the sake of a Matali? But if she will not go, then I too shall stay. I would rather face my own death than have her face her father's wrath because I escaped. My father thinks the Sandrals are thieves and liars who follow them here to Dantooine just to steal what he's earned for himself. My father is an egotist and can be violent at times, but I think he still cares for me. Raheja's father seems to be falling into the same pattern as mine. They're both too unreasonable to be talked to about the other. I think the only hope Raheja and I will ever have is if we can escape both of them. Please, find Raheja and speak to her. Get her to flee this place with me. What are you doing? Shen can be so stubborn sometimes. If one of the security droids sees me wandering the halls, father will get suspicious. I can't risk it. But I know Shen would rather die than leave me here alone to face the wrath of my father. Tell Shen I will meet you outside the gates. I will wait as long as I can, but you must hurry. She is not just telling Shen, you're safe. Rahasia. Well, thank goodness you managed to escape. It was all thanks to this kind Jedi that we managed to get this far at all. I thank you, Jedi, for all that you have done for us. No, we know that you must have gone to great personal risk to get us out of the Sandral State undetected. But surely we can... There you are, Shen. Father! Mr. Matale! Rahesha! Father! Mr. Sandro! Nurik! Alan! I knew this was all your doing! I knew you had captured my son! You had taken my Cassus from me long before that! You started it! I don't want to hear any of your excuses! Now I will get revenge for your transgressions! Please listen to him, Father. Why should I listen to the Jedi? All you want is to remain with that Sandral harlot. My daughter is not a harlot, Matale dog! We are trying to be reasonable here, of course. We are sensible people, after all. But our children are being so stubborn. If Shen would just understand that he has to do what I want, this would all be solved easily. But he is my son. I don't want to lose him. And I won't let my daughter go with him. My little Rahasia. Father! I... I don't know why we fight like this. We got along in the beginning, didn't we, Alan? I don't know how you can think of that when we have our children trying to go away together. Well, it wouldn't be so bad, would it? Shen seems to genuinely care for my Rahasia. He might be a good husband for her someday. Hm. As much as I may dislike it, I think I see it too. I suppose, I suppose I might be convinced to see that Sandral girl with my son, if she is loyal to him. But I don't trust you a centimeter farther, old man. 
Your daughter may treat Shen well, but you will never see them. They will live with me. Of course not, you pompous old windbag. They'll be living with me. I will not have them set foot in a Sandral household. They shall not live with the Matales. Then you propose to buy us a new house, do you? Oh, well, yes, actually. That sounds like a good idea. I'm surprised. That does sound like a good idea. We should discuss this more. Thank you, Master Jedi, for bringing us together and getting our parents to accept us. We will praise you to the Council for what you have done and name our children after you. Thank you again. We will remember you always. Yes? What? Shanti King Matawa Mulira. You are Lipa Akinko Kun. Da Uma Motinya go to do pity. Just grant it open sleep. I think the droid is trying to communicate with us by cycling through a variety of languages. Each time it spoke, it was using a very different alien dialect. The droid can probably understand us. The only problem is it may not have been programmed with the phenomes of a language we can understand. <laughs> I recognize this language as well. It's an archaic variant of the Selkath dialect spoken on Manan. But why would a droid on Dantooine be programmed to speak ancient Selkath? <laughs> 
It must be referring to Revan. The Dark Lord and Malak likely encountered this droid when they explored these ruins. Obviously not programmed with the knowledge we seek. The Starforge sounds like some type of weapon, perhaps. Though in fact, it could be anything. Maybe. That might explain how the Sith were able to amass a fleet so quickly. But I suspect the Starforge is more powerful than a mere factory. Maybe the droid has more information we can use. It seems to respond to you. Perhaps you should ask it something else. These builders must have been an extinct people. Though it is strange, there's no record of their existence. Even the archives of the Jedi Academy make no mention of them. In the years before the Republic, the Huts were a dominant force in the galaxy, but they never constructed an empire. In fact, I know of no species that would fit with this information. take more than 20,000 years. If this is true, then this droid is nearly 5,000 years older than the Republic itself. Uh, there must be some mistake. <laughs> sent him here to investigate, and it cost him his life. the secrets of the Starforge. Now Malak is using the Starforge to fuel his conquest of the Republic. We 
we have to find out what they uncovered. We have to find a way to unseal these doors to learn more about the Starforge. The Republic is depending on us.
Yeah. 